The racing shell is a high-tech rowboat that's built for speed. Long and exceptionally narrow, it's designed to cut through wave drag and leave the competition in its wake. Racing shells are made for single rowers called scullers, for pairs or entire crews. They're custom made to precise specifications. Racers need to travel light to maintain speed, so these boats are made from reinforced carbon fiber, which weighs a lot less than wood. First, several of these carbon fiber sheets are layered in a mold and trimmed along the edge. Textured thermoplastic, called honeycomb, gets a spray of glue and is then pressed onto the carbon fiber plies. Sandwiched between layers of carbon fiber, the honeycomb will serve as the shell's core, lending some lightweight reinforcement to the delicate hull. Next, the entire boat is wrapped in breather cloth and a plastic bag so that the air can be vacuumed from between the layers. The breather cloth is a permeable layer that prevents the plastic from sticking to the mold and creating air pockets. Next, the shell goes into a long oven, which melts the glue that's been impregnated in the carbon material, fusing the layers together. The shell bakes at 210 degrees for eight hours. Then the plastic and breather cloth are pulled away. And the boat is pried out of the mold using plastic wedges. The hull comes out in one solid piece and a primer paint sprayed into the mold earlier has adhered to the shell surface. Workers check the weight, which has to be exactly what the customer ordered. Next, they reinforce the boat's cockpit with several carbon fiber bulkheads. is glued on the inside rim of the racing shell using a piece of wood as a guide. Glue is applied around the bulkheads. Then the cockpit panel is lowered so that it adheres to the glued areas and rests on top of the foam that's been installed along the edges. Next, a computerized tool drills holes for the hardware and riggers, and workers trim the rim from stern to bow. They smooth the hull's finish with a grinding tool. And now, it's over to the paint station for some sanding and priming. Any flaws are marked for repair, because the slightest imperfection could affect the boat's ability to speed through the water. Once the boat is perfectly smooth, it gets a high-gloss urethane coating. Next, a fin is installed for a little stability. A laser guide helps align it into perfect position. A rudder goes into the bottom of the boat. The system of ropes that's attached next will allow the rowers to steer. This boat comes with special shoes and sliding seats that allow rowers to put a lot of leg power into their strokes. Finally, the rigging equipment for the oars goes in. Now this sleek racing shell is ready to hit the water.